So what is it about public art that draws our attention? Is it the location of where it's placed and the oddity of having something out of place that draws a crowd to look at it? Or is it the hidden and secret messages that's being portrayed by the artist towards the individual? Uh, well, that's up to you, I guess. But hey, I'm Dave Burnett, and this is The Jekyll and Hyde Show. Welcome back to the show. Uh, today we're talking about All the Rivers in the World, a piece by Von Bell that was just recently installed here on the campus of University of Washington, Tacoma, right here along the old Prairie Trail Railroad. These uh, lines actually are a representation of our industrious past here in Tacoma, from the warehouses to the Bay Area where raw goods were taken and loaded on ships for export, as well as new materials and finished goods coming in from the Bay up to these warehouses and factories for production and sales to the local population. The foresight and collaboration with multiple individuals as well as uh, people who volunteered names of rivers were one of the few major things that was being looked at and helped assist Von Bell in creating this piece that would that would decorate the retaining wall that was set th along the same trail lines. This is the, the one up there. Um, just marked out as a guide and then we um, we've been loading in one section at a time um, from a truck that they had down in the, um, the artwork is all stored down in the storage space on here. So, started here and um, it's pretty simple once we got going. Um, I just have two people pull the piece up and mark it and then um, you can see each one has quite a few screws and then um, there's a few places where the screws are missing and go in. The screws that keep holding the screws broke off. <laughs> there was so much torque on them. Um, but there's way, way more screw holes than is really probably necessary, so it gives it a little flexibility. Um, so we're going to go back and, like, you know, we have some touch up paint. Any place where there's a little bit of scuffing, we're putting the screws in. Paint that. Um, but, you know, it, it floats a little bit. So in some of these places, there's spacers behind the screw. Um, so it's really actually relatively simple. But there was nothing simple about the design. Coming together with the different names of each river, she also took the physical attributes of these rivers and put them together in one unified piece. It's a pretty tricky puzzle, especially when you look at the medium and what she used on in comparison to what she's displaying it on, the wood and the iron, uh, kind of representing the industrial age. A little nod to the connectivity of rivers in our industrial growth through uh, history. And the design of this, when I was working on the design for it, I was a lot of um, thinking about how that was going to work. And I kind of got, um, actually did like three different mock-ups of different ways for the ends to meet. Uh, one was to try to make it look more seamless, um, and then ultimately I decided to do this book because I think it kind of gives a suggestion that this is like a fragmented river that's like a puzzle that's put together from lots of different rivers, and then also just from a practical perspective, it allows like a little bit of play in terms of installing it, so that um, you know if we angled it a little bit differently when we installed it, it still you know works. It doesn't feel like something is misaligned. Yeah, and then as I was looking at it, I've been really concerned about like the screws kind of disappearing, but now that it's up there, I actually feel like I kind of like, it kind of goes with the sort of industrial feeling yeah. of, the, of the wall to have a little bit of the feeling of this construction of it being visible. So, um, so there's all kinds of things that sort of like, you don't know until it's up there, until it's going, right? But one thing's for sure, this is an awesome piece, and it does speak to me, as well as it speaks to a lot of those who do come along and view it. It'll be uh, interesting to have a revisit of the piece later on with the 
artist and others who've come to notice it throughout the years to see if there's any uh, change of story or any new stories that build up on it. But for now, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope you have a great day. This is the Jekyll and Hyde Show.